Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to do a brief uh, look at creating a lithophane inside Cura. Now, Chuck Hellebuck on his channel did one a while back um, where he used a third party service to create, uh, take a picture of JPEG and convert it to a lithophane and then printed it out. So, one of the features that a lot of folks might not know is that Cura can also do this. So just want to kind of take a quick look at this. So if we pop over here to file and we say we go and load model file just like an STL, we can come down here and we can pick um, a JPEG and then we can just click open the JPEG. Now what will happen is it brings up this dialog box. Now this dialog box can be a little bit strange in the way it works. So let's talk through a couple of the pieces. So one of the first things it does is it asks us how high do we want our lithophane. Now, ten, these are millimeters obviously, and one of the things, 10 is a little bit tall for my liking, so what I usually do is pop it down to about 5. And then the second one is the base, and the base is how much of a base literally is it going to put down, and, and at 1 millimeter means we'll have about four millimeters of rise on the lithophane and again we want to treat it a bit as a picture so this is one of the reasons that I cut it down from 10 because you simply get too much relief now maybe you want that relief uh, and, and you can change to height and again I would suggest playing around but I've had good luck with five now the other piece is how big do we want to make it now one of the rules of thumb that I use is the image I brought in is a 500 a 512 by 512 um, you know from a pixel basis image and this thinks it can create about a 153 by 153 square because it is a square object as we'll see in a minute now what I would recommend here is I always like to downscale the picture I find I get a better quality so what I'm going to do is I'm going to downscale this to 60 now one of the things you notice I typed in 60 and I got 6 so I'm going to do this again so I'm going to type 60 I get 6 it doesn't there's something funky about the box and this is what I was kind of alluding to so if I I have to actually go go back use my cursor keys to come back here to put a zero after the six and you'll notice that it keeps it in proportion between the two between width and depth now the other piece is darker is higher or lighter is higher so it depends upon how you want your your lithophane to come out so I typically use darker as higher, so this means the darker pieces will be higher, the lower parts will be lower. If you do the reverse, then uh, obviously the reverse is going to be true. And then we can say no smoothing, light smoothing, or heavy smoothing. Now, the image that I'm going to use was generated from an SVG file, so it's a vector file, so it's very tight. So I'm going to use no smoothing. If you're going to use like a group photo or something like that, I would suggest use light smoothing. Heavy smoothing is going to take a lot of the detail out of the image. So uh, for a general picture, say you, you've taken it with a camera, light smoothing. I'm going to go with no smoothing in this case, and then I'm going to click OK. So it's going to take a minute to uh, pull in, and there's there's my object. And you can, you can see that, uh, you know, how it's scaled. And, and uh, again, because it's uh, it's dark is higher you can see that these pieces are elevated and here's my inner text and my logo and so um, it all came out rather nice and again one of the things I, I can't stress enough is to downscale I've had far better luck downscaling than upscaling because uh, you can compress something into something smaller but it's very hard to to compress nothing into something bigger so again I suggest um, doing the downscale or taking a larger image and, and put, uh, place it down so anyways um, now one of the important things important 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 is to go up here to expert and then open expert settings and notice retraction now these these are my typical retraction settings I use on, on the one how you have to make this one like either 10 to to make it a ridiculously large number or if you want to leave this the same um, here you can close this back and then over here you can turn off enable retraction so one way or the other um, depending upon how you want to do it you have to basically disable retraction 
because if you don't, there are so many small triangles in this that it will jam up your hot end. I guarantee you'll get about a third of the way through and your hot end will be jammed up because it's going to do so much retraction. Um, so make sure that's, that that's turned off. Now I typically, especially for a smaller one, like to use about 0.2. I've even done them in about 0.1. Also, depending on shell thickness, so if I do 0.2 and I use a shell thickness of 0.4, that means I get two layers. This is pretty good. You really don't want to go more than two layers, and sometimes you actually may only want to go one layer because remember the idea of the lithophane is for it to show through the light. Um, top and bottom fill, again, I would go with uh, 0.4, so it's uh, pretty light. Now, density is something you can play with. I suggest 10 to 20% on density. You can go up a little bit higher. The denser it is, the darker the darks are going to be. So what's going to happen is the higher the density, uh, fill density, the darker that these these top pieces are going to be, obviously, because there's going to be more material and it's going to let, 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 let less light through. Uh, however, you do need some light to come through. So again, I, I, I suggest you know 10 to 20. Play with it, see what your tastes are. Everything else is pretty straightforward. Your standard print speeds, your standard temperature. I'm going to use clear PLA for this or natural PLA. Uh, so it lets the light through very nicely. You could also utilize uh, something like a glow-in-the-dark filament might be actually interesting, a clear TPU. Um, you know, experiment. You can come up with some interesting things. And again, I'm going to just run my regular bed temperature. So... Uh, with this all being said, what I'm going to do is now save this out. As you can see from up here, this, this is going to take about 41 minutes to print. And uh, I'm going to do it on the Wan Hao, again, as I mentioned, in, in clear and uh, natural PLA. So tell you what, let's cut over, take a look at the time lapse, and then we'll meet back at the bench and talk about the results. Okay, welcome back. So we've uh, taken a look at uh, making the lithophane in Cura. We've uh, watched a little bit of a time lapse of it being printed out, and here it is. So uh, it came up rather nice. Uh, actually, pretty impressed with it. Now, one of the pieces is uh, you you can adjust the amount of fill to create the different depth of darkness if you want. Now, I did this at a 20% infill. You could do this 30, 40, 50 and get a little bit darker. I didn't want to do it too too dark because I have these very small uh, letters in between here and I wanted to maintain some continuity and I think if I would have done with a little bit higher infill, I'd have had problems. But at 20 it came out. I'm really happy with the way that this came out. And maybe if I turn it on edge, you can kind of see the thickness. And again, at 5 millimeters, it came out, uh, I think, pretty nice. So 10 would have just been too tall. But all in all, it came out really great. So I have a great time printing these out. And again, as uh, I showed you, you can just take a picture, load it into Cura, and, you know, boom, pop out some G-code on this. So also, yes, Norbert, I did steal this from my wife also. Uh, before you ask, I know that's coming. <laughs> little... Uh, side humor there so anyways hopefully you found this interesting and uh, hey if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe a lot more of this coming uh any questions let me know in the comments see you in the next one please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects